I'm a long-time Samsung user, but have been really impressed with a variety of new high-end smartphones coming out of China lately. Before now, I hadn't had much hands-on time with the Huawei, but thankfully the Chinese brand is pushing their new P9 in a big way, and I've been lucky enough to be able to use it as my daily driver for the past two weeks. The first thing I noticed about the P9 was that it really strikes you as a premium handset on first impression. Up until this point, I'd kind of considered Huawei a budget brand, but the P9 looks wise as anything but. A sandblasted metal case houses the internals and wraps the phone in an attractive finish that for me was very reminiscent of recent high-ends from both Apple and Samsung in different ways. The screen is 5.2 inches and leaves a very thin bezel either side, adding to the premium look and feel. At the rear, a black band houses the dual Leica cameras which themselves don't protrude from the rear of the phone. This means, at its thickest, the phone measures to 6.95mm, making it thinner than the iPhone 6S and very comfortable to hold. Looking around the rest of the phone, you'll see the fingerprint scanner at the back middle, which I found convenient and very reliable, as well as the Huawei logo down the bottom. The left top side of the phone features the SIM and SD card tray, and then on the right hand side is the function button and volume controls. On the bottom of the phone you'll find the USB Type-C and 3.5mm headphone jacks. Now you probably noticed that I said dual cameras. The P9 does in fact feature two separate cameras on the rear of the phone, plus of course the front facing 8 megapixel selfie cam. The same lens is featured in both cameras at the back, but two different 12 megapixel sensors are utilised. One's a full colour sensor and the other is a black and white only sensor. The idea is that the black and white sensor can detect more variance in light. Software then combines the two images for a sharper result and far better low light performance. Here are a few snaps side by side with some photos of the same subject taken with my Galaxy Note 4 for comparison. As you can see, the results are really good. Of course, they aren't earth shattering, it's still a phone camera, but for a phone camera I think it's really good and it was definitely a cut above my Galaxy Note 4. The phone runs Android 6.0 out of the box with the Huawei EMUI skin on top. This skin is good in that it's fast, smooth and attractive, but there's a few things I didn't love. Firstly, there's no app tray, so all your icons are on the desktop. What is this, an iPhone? Definitely not my preference. I usually use Nova Launcher anyway, so this wasn't a huge problem, but I figure I should comment on the launcher that the phone comes with. There's also a bunch of H apps that try to replace basic functions that everyone just uses Google Apps for. This is the definition of bloatware really, and I prefer not to have it there. As I mentioned, the phone is snappy and smooth. The P9 is equipped with 3GB of RAM and an 8-core processor, so it's not going to have any trouble with any apps you throw at it. I wasn't sure what to expect battery wise with the P9 being so slim, but it actually packs a 3000 mAh battery that'll last you a day of solid use. The 1080p screen is quite beautiful and it was easily visible when outside in sunlight. Its brightness can also be dialed down fairly low so as not to blind you when you're having a quick look around Reddit in bed. Overall, I'm a fan of the Huawei P9. I really dig its overall looks and feel and it really felt like a premium handset. The main selling point, the camera, lives up to the hype and certainly performs extremely well for what most people use their phone camera for, Instagram, Snapchat and other social media. To be honest, I wasn't a huge fan of the software. It looks fine but any sort of bloatware really bothers me and I'd prefer to have the pure Nexus Android 6.0 experience. Installing my trusty Nova launcher helped though and after that I really forgot about any issues I had with it. You'll have no issues picking up the P9 in Australia. It's everywhere, just like it's ads. You can get the dual SIM international model from Kogan for $700 and of course the main carriers all have it available on their plans too. On Amazon you can pick up the P9 for as little as $469 US dollars so it really hits that in between price point. It's better and a little pricier than cheap Chinese phones, but also a fair bit more affordable than the latest and greatest from Samsung and of course Apple. Huawei have won me over as a fan of the brand with the P9, and I'll look forward to seeing more products of this caliber from them in the future. What do you guys think of the P9? Let me know in the comments. I'm your host Matt as always, and I'll see you guys next time. YouTubers like me depend on your support to continue improving the quality and content of our videos. To support the channel directly, consider becoming a patron to also get access to a heap of cool rewards and exclusive giveaways. Also, don't forget you can check prices and buy the products I looked at in this video through the Amazon links in the video description below. Thank you kindly for supporting me and the Hardware Unbox channel, it means a lot to me and I really do appreciate it, and in return I'll continue to work as hard as I can to keep producing the content you enjoy.